Hey guys, this is the Taz here to the commentary of the Angry Penguin video, which is filmed a few weeks ago. This is uh, the um, fifth one that I've made, and um, this is one of the best well, one of the best ones I actually did um, to be filmed for Angry Penguin. Anyway, um, the way this came around was actually very easy. Um, I didn't have a script or anything. I just basically decided it was easier to do something funny and crazy and everything else. Uh, the music you hear at the very beginning of the the, um, the introduction is from a TV Asia. Uh, very luckily, we got permission to use that, <laughs> um, and it was really, really good how uh, this came around. So it, I didn't have a script or anything. I just thought I want to try something different for a change, and the editing took uh, forever to do. Um, I filmed this in one shot, one continuous shot. That's me actually. Pulling the uh, album underneath the, uh, the the door, if you can tell. Um, the way I plan to shoot is I don't actually have a script. As I said, I never use a script in my life. I don't have a piece of paper in front of me. It's all timed uh, just perfectly as it is. Um, and this one was a good thing to do, and I thought we'll try this as a, as a new example of what it was. Actually, the camera should have been turned up, but just a smidge, just to basically get a right. shot of the of the actual so, CD. But obviously, it didn't uh, didn't work. Okay. A new release of kind of something I need to check out. Twenty tracks. Green Rhapsody, Days of Our Lives, My Best Friend. There is uh, actually a laptop in the corner of the screen, which you can see, and uh, that was actually getting repaired on the day that this was filmed. <laughs> but it was really good. Um, so what I did on this video was make it more interesting because what I did was I decided at the last moment that instead of me playing these tracks, I used the keyboard app because um, my keyboard was ba was buggered at the time as you can see in the background. That one is now broken, but it felt like it was off the CD itself. And I thought, no, what I'll do for the beginning is I'll play these notes and see if anybody recognizes this from the CD itself. But these are not from the CD as you can tell. It's actually me playing it on uh, on the actual keyboard. Um, on my actual Microsoft keyboard, I was playing this, and the app, the app that I used was um, um, a piano app, I think it was, and it was free. And I thought, oh, I'll have to try something on this because I can get mine working. All this is improvised as well. This is not actually anything that I do. I do this because I actually perform live as well at the karaoke at night time. And uh, I just thought, oh, I'll just go with it, you know, this sort of thing as well. There's actually a jump cut there because what I was waiting for was the other track to come through, but it obviously didn't work. And so, uh, that just happened deliberately. What the fuck was that? There was supposed to be some music on this part here, but I couldn't use it because it was copyright, obviously, from EMI. She's a killer queen, jump out the gelatine, down I'm out with a laser beam, guaranteed to blow your mind. Anytime. More about that later. First of all, there was also... A moment where I actually decided that it was going to be better if um, I just went through some um, the Angry Penguin series, obviously. There was supposed to be a part in here which I was going to put in, which would have been um, to use, obviously, the, uh, the, um, the video I was going to use previously from like, the We Are Champions one and the Also We Rock You. But I thought, now I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to bother We're using that from its uh, mad side. It's actually interesting how I bought the CD, um, and it was it was actually five ninety nine to buy this CD, which was a joke. And uh, you know, I'm very glad I still had it in my, my possession when I had it, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll do this one. So I had it actually in a box, and I had it sitting there ready to go, and I went, maybe I should do a new video for it, and I thought, well, okay, I'll try it this way. So um, after some suggestions I've made from the last video I did, I went, well, what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to do it like to camera and not going to bother with the script this time, which I'd never use a script in my life anyway. I researched this over a couple of years ago. I bought this from from a shop in Sunderland at Pound Stretches, which is kind of the shop you really want to go and buy good music for. <laughs> now, I think I actually said that, that actually it's shit music for. I should have said that actually in the video like for it to do. Sort of but um, done as well. I actually, after the video was filmed, um, I actually uh, started to, to, to actually go into the company as well, and uh, Music Bank made quite a lot more CDs than I've expected to be, actually. And actually, all of them aren't even the original artists, they're actually just copyright, just copy artists, and it wasn't even them. It was actually a Rare Chell CD from the same company, 
and they and they were now, chosen one thought, oh, I'll try that one, it'll be easy, lifetime, but obviously it didn't work. I have performed to people all over the world, and I have done so many things for people. I have performed, I have sang, I have produced my own albums, I've done so many good things in my own career. Um, uh, this, this was a mistake to buy. And this is just something that I have to say to Queen fans everywhere. This is a CD that is a definite zero. This is just shite. Yeah. And I'll just warn you now, guys, if you CD were wanting to buy this CD, don't buy it. It's just so terrible. Um, I can also tell you something else about the cover as well from it. Actually, the image that you see on that screen. Um, it was scanned through the scanner, and I know it's not the best quality in the world, but that's not the point. The point is, the image is actually Gary Mullen on that CD, which I realised when I checked it out after the video was filmed, that Gary Mullen is on the CD. So I thought, hmm, that's an interesting thing. I was like, oh, that's an interesting thing to do. So he is, uh, he's there. That's him. Actually, there was another CD that I was going to do on the same day. Which was um, Gary Mullen and the Works live, and that's just, you have done the uh, sheet down now, um, to do the next one. Now, so that might be the next one that might to do after that one. There is some long songs on this, but they want you to really leave the room. They also want to leave you in a stranded idea of you would just want to die from this. <laughs> so this is a definite no no at all. So I obviously had another so, idea to put in the video, um, the something from S and M Destruction uh, Limited, we'll uh, which is a YouTube channel. I started to watch all, a lot of them, and they destruct a lot of stuff and now, tables guy, and obviously with uh, lawnmowers and stuff. So I thought of, uh, we have to. I would put this in the video to make it longer. So I started uh, to um, look around YouTube. Now luckily the guys were not bothered about using this stuff. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't contact me and say, you know, can I permission to use this 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 video. And they didn't even get mad at me about it. They just said, I, I just put it in. And I just thought, oh, maybe I'm going to get caught strike for it. I didn't actually. So um, I, have to thank, I have to big thank you to those two guys who uh, were really funny. I just laughed my head off so much when I, when I saw this part. And it really, it was, I felt it was me playing it. But the guys were so cool. And, and they just said, they just didn't bother. They just really said, use it. So it was nice to um, put this in as a bit of a homage to um, the person on, on uh, Gary Teller's video. And... It's, it was actually very interesting how... Or would you do this? I actually wanted to put a part in there which was going to be them smashing it up, but I thought I'll save it for the end of the video, which would be easy enough to do it as well. And stuff. And that's the own, that's so the this is all the basis of the concept came around so from when organ. I posted my original video on YouTube, which was the um, Rainbow one I posted. Um, I was going to use excerpts from the Rainbow program, but at the time, um, the people on YouTube uh, refused to use it because they didn't want me to use their stuff. They said you can't use that because it's obviously Thames Television owns the rights to it. So I couldn't use that. But um, the last thing I'm going to try, I'll try and use next time is um, to use the next one, which will obviously, if we use that one next time, it will work out well for it. Listen to this. Let's put on the vibrato. Yeah, that's got some distortion there. But listen it is this. actually one of the shittiest keyboards I've ever seen in my life. I feel like when I when you play that key there, I feel like the phone was ringing. I felt the phone ringing or something. I thought that was just so, so weird. I think these guys are so good when they do this. Actually, that's reminds me of Jackass, really, but um, I think that's where they took it from, actually, the, the Jackass uh, TV shows. Okay, so we've all understood that it can be annoying in a way. So what I normally do for a, um, a shoot is I don't I don't plan it actually. Um, I normally go out sometimes. I'll go for a walk. And I'm thinking of so, what, what anyway, I can use for videos to use and this, footage to use uh, and think of no ideas and stuff as well. And none of it's written down on paper. I just think about it on the day itself. I just go well, maybe I'll look at something on YouTube to cross my eye. Now I know there's been a lot of videos recently of scammers, and the scamming videos have been very popular for the um, the work for they do. And a MIDI a MIDI keyboard and a MIDI. That, and if you don't know um, what MIDI is, by the way, that was way ages ago, like 2003. Um, that keyboard actually had the background was bought in 2004. On this, indeed. And it so, was really, really uh, yeah. a great so keyboard anyway, to use. With, uh, but 
um, at the moment. It's not working at the moment until I get it repaired. So hopefully I'll get that back working as well. So this is the um, Bohemian Rhapsody track. Um, this was just... It, when you listen to the CD, seriously, it sounds like somebody is in a main studio, but it's not, basically. Um, the guy who was playing on actually was a familiar guitarist, um, and the production was all done on, on obviously on the, on the PC. Um, but it was just horrible how it was done. It was awful. I mean, it was just caught. It was bad. And um, very tinny sort of sounding as well on it and stuff. I edited most of the track to, to basically get into the bits we could use for the track, and I didn't want to really use it a lot of it. So um, YouTube didn't give me any copyright issues. Um, they just said that one track I performed, which was obviously which was taken off the uh, the greatest karaoke hits live, which was um, um, "Don't Stop Me Now." And it's actually interesting how they use the track listing for the CD because they didn't use "Don't Stop Me Now." Was that's that's a cut there as well? They used just to get into the mode of the guitar. Um, bloody awful guitarist. You couldn't tell, obviously, if that was Brian May. That's not even Brian May. That sounds like that sounds like the guy from um, the other guy from uh, the video that we did. The Angry Pit, the first Angry Penguin, Penguin video I did. Um, we were the um, on the rock trail. Sound like that guy actually. Just, just, just. I mean, why would somebody want to play notes like this? I mean, seriously, it's just a joke. So <laughs> the edit there as well. I was trying to pick up the best bits I could put in the, put in the video, <laughs> and then after that, I, I thought, "Oh, I just got to just got to put the ending on." When you hear about now, it's probably weird, but it doesn't sound like Queen. It seems like someone's trying too hard on their notes to play the keys. Yeah, not. Uh... Not the best of things on this piece of crap. Uh, the next one we've got is uh, The Days of Our Lives. And uh, my point of view, uh, I listened to this one and I, I realised that this was kind of... I was either feeling I was going away on, on, a, on a cruise actually, ship. Actually, when I heard this track, I was, I was just I was literally want to cringe. The, of, uh, the first time I actually the ever got this CD, um, I was living in a, a so, flat uh, um, in Sunderland I to before I lived, lived back in the house where I'm living in now. And um, and I stuck it on, and Chris came over and heard it, and he said, oh, I should put this on. And he said, I like it. It's actually very relaxing. <laughs> and I said, are you kidding me? And, he, and he, th these, by the way, you've got to realise these were the days before the karaoke tracks came out because there was never anybody doing these sort of things. And uh, I know the Sunfly, Mr. Entertainer, yeah. had these tracks, Makes but they never had a full catalogue of it. And then, um, Next track and after is, I bought this uh, CD, I was trying to figure out if there was any backing tracks available for Queen ones. Now, and the, the guy, you David R. Fuller, who used the, the, these tracks, the, the, the he was um, really, really, really brilliant wanting, at what he was he's doing. He's trying to play really, the really notes. Good. He's trying to play the notes. I mean, people can play notes. They can, they can play notes till to, to they can do it. Okay, it's time to do this. And there's another cut there from what we... <laughs> I felt this part was a bit of a John Lord sort of tribute as well okay. when he was doing that. Is it just playing? <laughs> but in this case, this guy decided not to not to really do the song he tried tried to do it guys and I mean tried I mean he literally did and, and did. this is what it sounded like to me and I mean that's sell straight away that's off a key that's not off a keyboard that's actually on a MIDI program mini MIDI sort of thing on it and uh just awful bass on it as well. The like MIDI bass, MIDI bass lines on it as well. So um, really interesting. I like the way they just they just this when, is getting when you hear these the tracks. It's just awful. Awesome. Actually, um, if you can't tell from the. I <laughs> 
This guy, no, thank you. who you heard there, is... Uh, Brian May, um, and two and stuff will kill you. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, stop that! Re-tender. No, stop it! Please, stop! That's me improvising on that, actually, we're doing stop the noise. Brian May, two and stuff will kill you. Have <laughs> you seen the Brian Will you shut up? There's actually an idea to do a video of him coming up in the next uh, this video. version, he decided that... It was it was it was gonna be good and evil. And then this decides to make be really really So this is a too much of a kill you. This is the one that uh, to me sounds very, very similar to um Hank Marvin. I hate the guitar on it actually because it's bloody awful. That's another cut there as well, I had to pour out. There was a part in that section that I had to come up with that because um, the guitar part got way too stupid. So I thought this is probably we'll have to do it from that side again of it. The track was actually about five minutes long actually. Um, innuendo was probably seven minutes long, which was which was right actually at the time. And it was absolutely terrible. Um, I don't know how, how somebody can play a track like that on the, on the main video. On the, the track, I should say. Um, it's just terrible as it is, anyway. I mean, when I sort of write songs, I write, write stuff which is just like um, personal and stuff, you see? Um, actually, just follow me on say, SoundCloud. From my point of view, my SoundCloud account is, is a test super, so you can be on SoundCloud awful. and you can see my and new, new stuff in there if you want to. Have you seen the yeah. prize? Yeah, be more of um, that guy coming up in the next Angry Penguin video. And, and hey, trust me, his, uh, that next video we're going to do is going to be the best one. Which in my very, opinion, very it's a good. great song from... I actually think this is actually one of the best songs I've done. So what did the guy do on this? Well, he decided that it was it was going to be better if he took... The, the Queen song, stuff in the bottom of the background um, did change a bit, actually, in the, the, in the scenery. Um, I change it most every week, um, just for the video side of YouTube. Um, and the wall um, stayed the same as well from it when I had the makeover just done this year. Last year it was. Um, and uh, it needs another paint job, obviously. <laughs> But that's a little story anyway from all it is. So this is um So this is this was probably the longest video that I did for Angry Penguin. The first one I ever did was um was a try basically a try of it. Um and until um I got the first DVD, which was the We Were Rocky DVD, that was the worst DVD of the lot. I mean who it's like who they put garbage together of using YouTube YouTube copies and stuff as well. And um and that was the worst one. The second one I did was um, on the Rock Trail with Liam Dale, which um, so what do we have next? which became another um, hit in the YouTube got, side of it, and then Angry Penguin took off very well indeed. And, uh, and then the third I one we did I ought to warn you was the funniest one I think of my whole career was the um, like using the um, Central TV like archives, and, and that was actually the first time that I think Angry Penguin got a real logo, a real music on the bottom of it as well, and. Actually, no. It's actually the fourth one that I did. The fourth one was the uh, was the preview trailer, and then Angry Penguin got a secured um, thing for it as well. So the um, an Angry Penguin is not even any trademark. It's it's, it's my own um, thing, my own creation I had. So it, it, it there's a lot more products I love to do on Angry Penguin. I mean, there's a few that I've seen around YouTube. They've said do scamming videos and stuff, but that's not really my thing. But like, I always like to um, to sort of research a lot. Of companies of bad CDs, bad DVDs, bad stuff, and really bad ones as well. And um, I mean, for example, there was a video that I was going to do originally, which was Rock and Roll Disco. Um, it's never ever been filmed yet. Um, it's been the hardest one to film actually now, for the past couple of, the of weeks. Never had a chance to get it done. Um, but if it, if it comes around again, we can get it done again. The guy decided that he would take things slowly and calmly. You couldn't dance. I like to. Um, he would take it slowly. And he would I love to have a, a challenge myself of what um, what I'd love to do in a video. Um, um, everyone, everything's been, everything that you see is filmed if, in that uh, room um, from the day when I filmed his... my first of a Queensville live to yeah, the recent so one of this one, which was the last that one. Would be turned into that part there that you see crap. when I said shut up, that was supposed to have a part in there of um, someone doing um, Two of a Kill You. I couldn't use it. And the reason I couldn't use it was because it was copyright. 
So very luckily um, that had to be taken out straight away the video and I went oh, I've already put it in. So that's why there's no it's only silence in there. So but there's a reason why there's silence in there as well actually as for another if you if you're a Queen fan and you know exactly what uh, I'm talking about from that, that side of videos. So next we but, have um, is one of my favourite songs which is Friends Will Be Friends. Um I have to say that I really should have uh, cut the video down just a little bit because it would have made it a bit thingy for it. But you know, we're putting extra bits in and making things like that. Ah, fuck it, we'll do like do like a, a thirty-minute montage video and all that stuff. There's way too well, much which is, on this anyway, which is good. and the guitar sounds like actually ridiculous um, for some reason. So uh, here's that cut. Many years ago, when I was actually writing and recording my own music, um, I actually came across loads of stuff in my drive. I never knew I had it. And I had some demos that I've never published um, from 2008 to recently. Um, I've just been uploading them onto SoundCloud, and um, they're never made. They've never made, they've never made videos. Um, I mean, the first five, six videos I made were probably "She's So Hot." Um, the "Getting Better" was the very first rock one I ever wrote, but it's never ever been uploaded onto YouTube, and. Um, and I don't really want to upload to YouTube because it's it would gain a lot of interest, but obviously it won't. Is a video that kind of doesn't really go anywhere. A typo, kind of magic. A a kind of magic, a kind of magic. This is, sounds very karaoke. This one actually um, tries tries to imitate as a karaoke song. Um, I performed this song. One dream. That's actually, right. that's actually me so doing that song, and I actually did that at the uh, Cory Tavern live, and that didn't make the CD. We released the CD called The Greatest Karaoke Hits Volume kind of 1, magic, but, but we didn't put Kind of Magic on because the recording just went all wrong. So the second time, the, the Volume 2 that we're releasing in October is coming out, and it's uh, and I think it'll be a lot better than what we did as well. And the first CD we've released actually from... Uh, partnership I've done with a friend of mine and he's doing, he's very happy with the result as well. So I'm very happy with it as well actually it's come out. And you can buy it on um, you can buy it on PayPal for five pounds for the C D or if you want the MP3 version it's three quid. And so um, just add, just add, if you want to go there and add it and buy it you can. Um, all the information is on the video if you want to check out the uh, the great, greatest karaoke hits ever. There's actually some samples as I said on my SoundCloud on Test Super so uh, add me on SoundCloud as um, Best and you can see that all them great, ch ch great tunes. But Getting Better is actually you. on my SoundCloud, but as I say, it won't be uploaded to YouTube. It was time to, to really make me sad. Um, you know, I heard this and I cringed the, the whole lot. I cringed, I cringed. I really said, turned off, and I, I really didn't want to hear it ever again. Um, but here's a sample of it anyway. I don't think the guy's not even playing the guitar right. It's like bing, 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 bing. Just insane. <laughs> I also had a couple of questions from people saying, well, how, how do you edit your videos? Well, I edit them on PowerDirector. I found, I found PowerDirector is actually the easiest and most bloody obvious one to use. I originally was going to use um, Vague, Sony Vegas, but Sony Vegas for me is a nightmare to use. So I decided that it would be easier just to use PowerDirector 12. Love that program, really good. Um, well worth it for its, uh, for its, for its uh, great um, thing as well. I'm seriously thinking of now throwing this away. Um, now we've the CD, the by the way, the CD, the um, is actually still in my room. Um, and it's still sitting on my desk. And I really, since I actually really filmed think it. This guy tried his best. Did he fucked? Innuendo is about seven fucking minutes long. Mm -hmm. Seven fucking minutes long. I mean, I don't really. I now, play that all from I back to back, all the way through on the CD. And, try and after that, that was no, 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 no. Don't so. You don't, you don't do um, things like that. And whether somebody really wanted to do this track, or whether somebody was really taking the piss, you are awful. It's one of the worst covers and the worst guitars I've ever heard. When you get to the middle section, it's hilarious, and I mean it's hilarious. So here is that. Or oh, what I could stick in. 
I mean, the drums are just bloody awful. It sounds like it sounds like somebody was doing it on a kit on a, an actual computer. So what they were using Windows, what was it? Windows 90, 98? No, Windows 2003 server. I mean, this is the days before even Steve Jobs invented the um, the Apple Mac. Yeah, Mac was never invented by that time, but well, it was. But obviously, but like, uh, Pro Tools were never invented. So somebody did this on. Someone's done this on a, on a computer as well for it and stuff. Somebody just can't play a note pop on this truck. I'm trying to be like Hank Marvin. You can be Hank Marvin of the world. It's just stupid. This section I had to pull in because this was so impressive. I mean, it's just like, why would you want to put them sort of claps in the, the song for? Why? It's, like, it's just insane. I feel like it was like John Williams playing it, like John Williams and oh, Sky, if you've ever heard Sky. Sky's a great band, actually. Um, there's actually a song by Sky I do love called um, Gazebo, and it is just one of the best tracks I ever did. And it's actually John Williams playing this high speed uh, guitar. It sounds like just like some sort of like a Mexican sort of like player doing it. And they. Timing's all wrong in this as well, if you can tell. The guitar's way out of time, and that time's not right on this. See? <laughs> it's just terrible. Trying to be the next talisman guitarist. <laughs> it's just, just awful sort of sound in it. I was actually going to include moving images on the video, but I thought, ah, I'm not going to bother. Next track we're going to go on to is. Oh yes, you know, this is the this is an issue I've got here. This part was supposed to have uh, um, the guy with the guitar again? going da 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 da, but I forgot to put it in. That's anyway, my fault. Um, so uh, unfortunately, that's my fault. Guys, slap me for that. Yeah. Um, I was supposed yeah, to put that. Um, uh, the guy yeah, doing the guitar uh, yeah. part from we Rocky. Fortunately, I forgot to put it in. Uh, and that was my to, fault because uh, really, I didn't really think too much. I just rushed it too one. fast. So I apologise for that, guys. That cut was supposed to be in the video. Sorry about that. And I tell you what, for what it's worth, dance around if you want to dance around like this. Yeah, really. This is um. No one bites the dust. Which I've never done the song ever live on karaoke, would you believe? Now, the next shot you're going to see is me dancing. Now, do you know what? It's weird. But, um... This part had to come in. Um... And it was still... I didn't... I, didn't even, I just thought... Oh, I don't know what to do. I'll stand up and dance. But I didn't... This is not... This is just me dancing. This is not improvised. This is not stage or anything. This is me doing it. And I just thought... No, I'll try it, and it, there was actually no music playing in the background of that. I had to try and imitate the song in my head, and I had to do Shite. that. So luckily, Shite. it worked out great. Uh, then we go on to uh, the somebody who's trying their hardest to do. I'm going to slightly be mad. <laughs> that part you had to go into the middle. If you hear this version. It should have actually this been. Um, I'm going to slightly mad. Very, very um, you'll, mad. You'll, feel, you'll feel mad if you go in this version. That should have been that the keyboard part should have been in the middle of that actually. So that could be switched around. Um, if I had a chance to do this video again, I would re-edit it and I would put bits in that I would love to put back in again, which I could actually make an extended version of the video, but it would take too long to edit. Uh, so there is a few faults in this. That's they are that, the most that's nice awful. ballad, Save Me. Which, in fact, this one is not bad. This is actually good. Guy tried... I mean, I've heard so many people do he's save me in the past, and it is a long else. song to do. But he's decided, no, 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 the thing about this one, I've decided this was my guitar on. decided put to my guitar on. put my own version put about it, and I said it was actually very good. Guitar. And actually, hearing this um, one was actually the best that I heard because it was no fault at all with this song. It just felt like an, inst an instrumental version of it from Jeff Scott Soto's side of it. Like Jeff Scott Soto did this song on a tribute album of Queen. Um, that CD is no longer available at all now. But he did a great version of this song. In fact, that was the only song that Jeff did on as a um, on his album. It was actually going to be in, actually it was meant to be on his solo album, but they didn't refuse to use it on his then solo album. And then after that, they decided to, that I yeah, to free, use it on that. Which um... <laughs> 
I really should say. It's the funniest version I've ever heard. The guy tried to, uh, really, really tried. He tried to, uh, be funky and <laughs> funny and... He was, I think he was laughing on the session. You can tell he's guitar. Uh, he was trying, he was trying to be a song. It was really actually interesting that because apparently, his, uh, yes, he did laugh on the session. The you hear it all the way through. It's hilarious because the way that he's trying to play it, it sounds like he's actually there's notes he can't even he's trying to not a laugh, but he's laughing. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. God. Cringe is so much when you hear these tracks are, going, oh. Then we come to the next one, which is under pressure. Mm. Now if I've heard under pressure bombarded to this day and it has been bombarded to fuck it has been i've heard funny versions i've heard duet versions never heard a version like this ever double guitar version of it the middle so section whoever decided to put the uh the double guitar so version funny that the guy can't even play it he was trying to do the high notes and the low notes and double tracked it very well and so he came up with something really genius, and I just laughed and laughed and laughed, and I just have to say... Well, it, what got me about this, under pressure, was just the, the guitar part in the middle section was funny as hell. And the guitar part, is, it, it's trying to be like a, a duet version between Brian May and some Mickey Mouse playing. <laughs> Which is true. Mickey Mouse playing for it. It's like, because I was trying to think in my head, Mickey Mouse, I don't want me to give us something that came in my brain. I think that the, the drums are just so bad on it. It's not even drums, it's just, just program crap. <laughs> this is the Mickey Mouse bit now. See, this is what I call Mickey Mouse and the Mickey Mouse bit. It's terrible. It sounds like it sounds like Mike Oldfield playing it. It's like Mike Oldfield. It's just like Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh god. That was this laugh was genuine actually, because I just laughed so hard. <laughs> I was thinking about Mickey Mouse in my head when I was off an action. No, I just keep going with it. Is we then got a real rock you right now. Listen, I have to warn you something. When you hear this, you may want to turn it off because it is boring. The guy, the, the guitar part is out and way out of sync. The drum part is awful. The claps are awful. This is shit. Yeah, definitely. A zilch on this one. This is the worst cover in the world. This is awful. No one wants to play some karaoke bars, I tell you. You just want to hear the original drums on it. And so, in fact, the backing track, original backing track um, on the karaoke greatest hits on Queen, is actually one of the easiest riffs I've ever done. But the, there was no need to put this guitar on at all. There's no need for that. So somebody was really, really, it's like actually really pale, who would have played this. Just bloody awful. Then we go on to the show must go on. And We Are The Champions is the last one. Honestly. Yeah, those two tracks now, I didn't prove because they were too long and boring. Uh, due to the packaging that you've seen on the images, this there is a resemblance of Freddie Mercury here. Now that image, I can tell you, is taken off Gary Mullen and the works. It is. They were trying to replicate it was this actually image actually that image you'll see on my next video is the image I do have on that that's it on that Gary Mullen C D um, and you will hear awful. that uh, in the next the uh, is Hang the Penguin worst. video. Uh, and the back sleeve is just the same as the shit sleeve anyway. Um, when you get onto the discs though, the disc is interesting. Mm. This is to me shocking job ever in the world. And it's crap. So this originally came out in a pack set called the Metal Hits box set. This is actually volume 21. 
Um, I don't have any more of these. This is actually the one. There's actually the 30 discs, um, I think, really in the box that I researched after the video was done. 30 dis dead. discs available from instrumental, from instrumental hits of the bands. Anyway, and they did join me next time when I'm so many versions of it. It's just more terrible, terrible, the world terrible. Of, uh, Queen, including highlights from this outro. I actually decided that it would be easy ways. to do, like a Ben um, from the worst uh, Odyssey Archive, the world ever. and I did that sort of. How thing, so rock and roll disco never um, ever entered the Actually, this whole video is actually um, in the world was based on um, when I did I the Girls Play video. Um, well, was the fifth one, like, fourth one, the one. girls play video was actually the best one I did, but and the girls play one was actually more higher than I've ever expected it to be anyway. So, so this is my sort of like tribute to those guys and to Ben as well for this. Angel. So it's even cool. And that's it, guys. That's the end of the video. So thanks for tuning in. My commentary has been great on this one. And look up for some more commentaries coming on the next videos. Uh, if you want to subscribe to me, subscribe on that's uh, Queensville. And also you can have me on as Tess Super on Facebook. And also you can check out the uh, Facebook Facebook uh, things as well on the Facebook's uh, Queensville page. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Thanks.